E it's production time. I'm Reed Stefan, Reels Puppet in the game. Today, I'm going to be checking out the brand new Auto-Tune Access 10 to find out if this is the best Auto-Tune if you're on a budget. Now, everyone knows what Auto-Tune does, but there's a lot of confusion between the different versions. So Auto-Tune Access is the most affordable entry-level version of Auto-Tune. As you can see, they've simplified it to the two most essential knobs, but there's been a lot of design improvements and things that I want to talk about before we get into the actual functionality. First of all, they've improved the user interface with the new resizable design that looks and feels much cleaner. In addition to the three knob positions, they've also added buttons that give you shortcuts to the highest and the lowest, like a little preset button. They've also added the ability to play in the notes that you want your scale to be made of. This isn't like playing a vocoder, this is more of like creating a custom scale. But what is the scale of your song and how do you figure that out? Well, they've included a very useful counterpart plugin called Auto Key. And I'm going to load that right up here on my beat. And you simply play your beat into the plugin and it determines the key for you. So you can see it's determined E minor. All we have to do from here is send it to Autotune. So we've just sent E minor as the preset to all instances. In this case, there's two so far in this session. Now, when using Auto-Tune Access, it tends to be the most CPU friendly version of Auto-Tune, which means it's great for tracking vocals through it. We could turn our mic on. Hey, and we've just got Auto-Tune Access going into a simple vocal chain here in CLA Vocals. I like keeping the plugin count down when I'm producing and recording all in one session. It just helps keep this, the latency down. In addition to that, you also want to make sure that your playback engine buffer size is down to 128 samples. So now let's sing along with this beat and find some Auto-Tune retune speed settings that work best for us. My singing is a little bit rough, so I have a feeling I'm going to need some more than the average singer might, but let's dial it in and see what happens. Sus, sus. I love this fast preset for me, but again, everybody's vocals are going to require something different. Every song's going to require something different. But this song's actually sounding pretty fire. I might write some bars to this and record a vocal. I just cashed my check, so I'm about to flex tonight. Shout it, go put on a dress. Yeah, I know you got an appetite. And we'll be popping champagne first course with the bottles on ice. Cause my baby's looking perfect and I know that she'd be worth it all right. Auto-Tune actually nailed pretty much all of those notes and it's the same algorithm that you get in the more expensive version of Auto-Tune just with limited controls. As you can see, we got three different options on the retune speed. I'm choosing the fastest. And then we have Humanize. And Humanize controls how tight the retune speed is during long sustained notes, which might be good for this, but since my voice is kind of pitchy, I'm going to keep this off. This would be a great option if you wanted it to sound more organic and have your auto-tune be sneaky. I'm just going to commit to the vibe fully and say, I want all that auto-tune saucy goodness on this vocal. And I heard a couple notes that I want to fix manually. You could actually do that using any DAW's stock pitch shifting plugins in combined with Auto-Tune Access. And we'll be popping champagne first course with the bottles on ice, on ice, on ice. You can see bottles on the word on kind of confuses the Auto-Tune algorithm and that can happen when the singing is kind of off. Bottles on ice. But this is actually the most helpful trick in the world if you want to do manual tuning with any version of Auto-Tune, even Auto-Tune Access. So let's just isolate that bad pitched word. Dun, dun. And let's go into Audio Suite and let's go to Pitch Shift and let's open up Pitch 2. And this is the stock pitch transposing audio, just the most basic audio transposing you can get. Dun, 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 dun and we just looped that little audio clip and pitch it down minus 39 cents. So we just did like a little fine tune, drops that right in. Now this is super useful 
And when you fly this around, it gets retained, which is also super useful. Bottles on ice. Boom. The bottles on ice. That sounds awesome. I might just copy. Might just copy this guy over there because I want this to happen during the hook too. This ad lib just feels like a hook to me. Right there. Hey. And speaking of ad libs, let's go back in and record some ad libs under this. And we'll be popping champagne first course with the bottles on ice. Now this is sounding super fire. I think I just want to add auto-tune access on some female background vocals just to give this that final vibe to complete the song. As we recorded all of Kara's vocals, I decided that I wanted a much more natural tone of auto-tune to these, so I pulled the retune speed all the way to the slowest setting, and I'm also going to turn Humanize up to the maximum setting. Then I'm just going to hold Option and copy this down across all of the Kara vocal channels. So auto-tune access is as simple as that. To achieve some really good results, it's both a songwriting tool and a mixing tool, and it really helps me find my melodies as I kind of mumble out my ideas, and it can help really tighten up great singing like Kara's vocals to help it have that final pop music polish on top of it. So now let's take a listen to our track from the top. Hey. I just cashed my check, so I'm about to flex tonight. Shout it, go put on that dress. Yeah, I know you got an appetite. Yeah. And we'll be popping champagne first course with the bottles on ice. Ice, ice, ice Cause my baby's looking perfect and you know that she'd be worth it alright Sauce and sauce and I'm a swag, I'm a swag of spaghetti She be sauce and I'm a swag, I'm a swag of spaghetti Sauce and sauce and I'm a swag Swagger spook, get it, swagger, swagger spook, get it, swagger, swagger spook, get it, yeah. Hey. So there you have it, my complete guide to the brand new Autotune Axis 10. Now this plugin is only $49.99, so Autotune has never been more accessible. It's rightfully named, and to make it even more accessible, they've added a subscription plan for just $2 a month or $20 a year. Gets you access to this plugin, plus a little bundle of other plugins that you could use to create cool double effects, vocal mic modeling, and more. If you want to learn more about Autotune Access, I'll include links in the description below and catch you guys next time in another tutorial. Peace out.